Welcome, my name is Michael Cassell. I'm the Senior Product Manager at Holzer US. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Scoremaster 5110, our automated storage and retrieval system. The key question with the Scoremaster is, is your production up and running or are you still searching for panels? Scoremaster is designed to provide the next phase in automation from Holzer US and it addresses two major issues, inventory storage and optimization, and panel delivery required for your production machinery. Each of the systems are custom designed and engineered to optimize the available space in your facility, to maximize your efficiency and productivity. The system, as you can see, consists of steel runways and a single cross beam. We've got a vacuum activated manipulator, which has a wide range of vacuum connections based on your application. Stationary incoming or outgoing stations conveyored in feeds for automated feeding and, and load. For large inventory systems, we can offer man, uh, multiple manipulators and also double decker systems. The benefits of the system are for a wide range of our customers, from the smallest customer to the largest customer. You're all going to get the same benefit. It's going to save time and save money. It's easy on the operator. It's going to provide increased productivity of the machine because we guarantee that we always have material at the machine. We're no longer waiting on the material to be delivered. We have we eliminate the forklift travel around the shop. We can reduce personnel. It's a resource to give us information live time on inventory control. We can reduce our material costs. We eliminate the damage to the boards when manipulating. We have no missing boards, and current material stock is always available. And lastly, it provides a much more efficient use of the facility. Let's first talk about inventory management. In the inventory management, the material is going to be unloaded from the truck. We can utilize a barcode, scan the barcode, which is going to give us our information. We punch in the number of sheets to be put into the system. The system itself is going to optimize the material storage. We also get real-time data. We can establish minimum and maximum inventory levels, which we will then be alerted. We have the ability to purge out older material. We can set a date and we can have all the material that's more than six months old pulled out of the system. We can finish with a particular job and we can now pull all the material that was in stock for that particular customer into that job. We can also use the system to, to store drops. Drop storage is a very, very smart thing to do, except when it takes you 45 minutes to find a piece of material that costs $6. Now with the system, we can automate that, and the system will look at the program on the beam saw, will determine whether or not we have a drop suitable for that, for that job, and then pull it. We have weight and measurement verification. When we establish a new SKU in the system, we put in certain data, the system will then come over and lift the panel and it will calculate the weight and fill that field in the inventory database. The next time it comes to pull that material from inventory or to place it back into inventory, it's going to do a weight verification. This is very, very important when you do an MDF. MDF, because of its nature of being porous, you have the danger of picking up two panels. We have panel rotation correction. If the bulk of material is delivered to the incoming station skewed, when the system lifts that panel to put it in inventory, it's going to do a fiber optic right angle analysis and will then shift the panel and will place it in inventory in a correct position. As far as inventory storage, we can stack to about 1800 millimeters or about 71 inches, about six foot high stacks. If I've got three quarter inch material, I'm going to be able to stack 95 sheets per stack. Our material is, is stacked within about three inches of each other. So again, very good, good space utilization. The system is also a very intelligent system. We can determine whether a certain stack is going to be dedicated to a specific skew or a particular material. We also have the ability to do chaotic stacking. So we can mix materials within the stack. The system is intelligent. It knows that that one sheet of maple is in stack number six, and it's the fifth sheet down. 
again, with the inventory management, the system also looks and optimizes based on your consumption statistics. You may have a system and you've laid your bunks out, and then unbeknownst to you, the system starts moving material from the back to the front. What's happening there is that the system is analyzing your consumption statistics and says you're using this material a lot more than you think you are. So now it's going to move it closer to the front so it has a shorter travel distance. We can set priorities. Priority one is going to be to always feed the machine. When it gets an order for a sheet, it stops what it's doing, it feeds that machine. Once the machine has been fed, it will then go and either reorganize stacks uh, for, the, for the next jobs coming up or will continue to replenish inventory. We can manage the drops. You may have a material that's very, very light sensitive or dust sensitive. We can assign certain stacks to have a protective or a cover panel on them. So the system will make sure that that stack always has a protective panel. When it's pulling material from that stack, it will move the protective panel, will move the inventory to the machine where it needs to be placed, and then put the cover back on. The system is also networkable. We can either operate from the PC that's here at the system, or it can be tied into your network, and we can have a software connection directly from the office. We can integrate the PC with your corporate network, and then the data would be available on all other PCs. We can also look to tie the system into your own ERP system. And of course, remote maintenance by internet is certainly provided. The second purpose of the system is to provide machine loading. The system ensures that the machine is always being fed. This is the key. We're gonna increase the productivity of the machine because we're never waiting on material. There's always a sheet in the queue. This greatly increases the machine productivity. The system can load material directly onto a Holzer machine that is equipped with a loading system. But you can also get the benefits of the system if you have a Holzer machine that does not have a loading system, or if you have a competitive machine that does not have a loading system, or machines that are manual machines. We can go ahead, place an order for the material in the order that we want. The system will go ahead and build a stack, a rainbow stack of that material, which can then be transported by forklift to a sliding table saw, to a competitive router, to a competitive beam saw, or any other machine. So you can still get the, the benefit of the inventory management and get the benefit of pulling the sheets, the number of sheets you need in the order that you need them. Now what I'd like to do is to demonstrate the loading of both the Dynastic CNC router with automatic infeed as well as a horizontal beam saw. So as we've discussed, one of the major benefits with the Stormaster 5110 is in its ability to load our production machinery. Now we're going to show you the automated loading on the Tektor 6120 beam saw. The operator is going to call up the saw program that information is going to be relayed to the storage system. It's going to go into inventory, pull the appropriate panel, and then load it onto the beam saw. The grippers will retract, will grab the sheet, and will pull it forward. You also have the ability to go with the optional dynamic table. The dynamic table is basically an extended table in depth. So what that allows us to do is as we're cutting job number one, the system is pulling sheets to run job number two, and then once we're completed, the machine again is already loaded, and that second job will be pulled forward, and the saw can then go ahead and commence its program. As we talk, one of the key benefits with the Stormaster 5110 is inventory retrieval and loading your CNC machine. So here we're gonna show you an example of the Dynastic 7532. The operator has called up the program, it sent information to the store master as to what material that it needs to run the job. The store master is going to retrieve that material. We're going to load it onto the infeed table inside the system. The conveyor belt's going to kick up, and now it's going to drive the material forward to the positioning pin to give us a reference point. Position in front of the pin is a light beam. The sheet breaks the light beam, sends a signal to the CNC, and says that there's a sheet in the queue, come get it so we can run. 
The automated loading system now has picked up the sheet. It's gonna move it into position. We're gonna do a Y-axis shift against the back fence to make sure the sheet's in position. And now we're gonna activate the vacuum and run. At this point, the store master is gonna go to a short dwell. It's gonna go into inventory. It's gonna pull the next sheet of material while the sheet is being cut, put it in the queue, and we continue on with the cycle. So that's where we're gonna get the productivity improvement. We're never waiting on material. There's always one in the queue.